Welcome to the party, pal. I am Commander Tom. This is the continuing tips of uh, Among Trees. Today is day 15, and we have a mission. And that mission is fishing. Uh, yes, I skipped a few more days. I actually spent that time looking for blueprints. And uh, I was looking for blueprints in all the wrong places, so to speak. I died many times in my quest for blueprints. So I just want to make sure that you're aware. You need to make use of that saving table. I really try to make it a situation of every time before I go down to bed, go ahead and hit save. Because when you start getting out of here, old Mr. Bear is no joke. Step in with me to our uh, fair handy dandy crafting items menu. Let's take a look at what we need to do to actually build this fishing rod. Let's go ahead. Six sticks, two pieces of rope, two rags. Go ahead and craft the item. And I gotta say, for something I built myself, that looks really fancy. Alright. I will go ahead and do the walking. We'll get to the water, and then there'll be more talking. Well, move over, Stardew Valley. There is a new champion of difficult fishing and its name is Among Trees. I'm not even going to play. It has taken me about a game week or two to really get a feel for how this works. Uh, but I think I'm starting to get it down. So the main thing you need to focus on with fishing here is it is not the mouse button, it is the mouse position. Now, if you keep an eye on that white bar, you want to keep that about midway and keep uh, moving the actual mouse to be uh, bouncing back and forth between the two. And then you bring in fish like this. We're so used to the right or left mouse buttons being the primary variable, this is what the hardest variable to me was, was it's the mouse position. It's the right or left of the fish and obviously you want to be keep pulling at it and you want to keep the tension midway between the line breaking and the line being loose. It takes some adaptation but if you put the time into it you can do it and get it. Uh, and it's rewarding as heck when you do. But this is the biggest learning curve I have ever had with any game. Well done devs. Well done. Dang. Again, cast your line. Now, I'm sure you're all targeting the right areas. If you're getting bites, you're targeting the right areas. And then keep the white midway between breaking and being too loose. And then focus on the mouse positioning. Right or left, tugging away from the fish. And tr focus on midpoint. That way you've got room to air and room to react. And once you get that feel down, you it, it's, a, it's a different technique than a lot of the fishing games we've dealt with, but once you get that down, you bring them in. You bring them in. One last time here. Cast it. And then, more than likely, you're cast to right, so you'll probably get your bites. It's real them and it's been the difficulty. Keep it midway as much as you can. And then, always pulling the fish away. Opposite of the fish. When it starts to go down, that means the fish is turning, so swatch over. It goes down, flip over. Keep it on. Going down, flip over. Going down, flip over. Ah, don't break it. Come on. There we are. And I'm on the eternal quest to explore the recipes of um, Hmong trees. So we caught it. Let's see what it's like when we cook it. Alright, so you'll notice I've got the fish meat, uh, the skins, the bones... Uh, I am curious to see uh, what's going to be able to go into the pot. 
because I know all of this could go into the pot. Well, right away, we know that the bones aren't going into the pot, but I wasn't surprised about that. Kind of surprised the skins can. Oh, but the skins don't do anything. <laughs> so that's just a fancy discard. And then looking at the meat itself, it looks to be about a 40% boost in health, but helps with temperature as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cook up some fish stew. I'm going to thank you for sticking with me. If this helped you out, or if uh, I made you smile, leave a like and subscribe. I drop videos like this each week. If you want to see more, that's what the uh, playlist is for. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Ciao!